Hi, I am Dr. Legrand, and in this video, I am going to talk about irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, also known as IBS symptoms. I will also talk about causes of IBS. I am a naturopathic family doctor that sees patients with IBS on a regular basis and think it's important for people to understand the symptoms to be properly treated. I will talk about five different IBS symptoms, common IBS causes, and then towards the end of this video, I will talk about the red flags that you should look out for if you think you have IBS. IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome, is a disorder that affects the large intestine. The IBS symptoms that patients will get are, number one, is that you can have abdominal discomfort, which varies considerably, but is steady or cramping in nature, and relieved by defecation or painful defecation. Number two, you will have alterations in stool frequency. Number three, you can alternate between constipation and diarrhea. Number four, it is very common to have abnormal stool passage, such as mucus and feeling of incomplete evacuation. Number five, is almost always associated with IBS, is bloating and abdominal distension. Patients will be diagnosed with IBS if they fall under the Rome 2 criteria, which is at least having recurrent abdominal pain on average greater or equal to one day per week in past three months, with greater or equal to two of the following symptoms that we just talked about. The common IBS causes are psychological factors such as anxiety, depression, sexual and physical abuse, and sleep disturbance can all contribute to causes of IBS. Another is physiological factors like altered gut motility and hypersensitivity to pain, which can cause normal digestive gas to be painful for that person. There is also environmental causes such as after exposure of intestinal viruses, bacteria, or parasites. IBS symptoms can also be associated with foods the patient can be allergic to that will trigger the IBS symptoms. But a big portion of that problem has to do with your stress associated with food. Now I will talk about this more in my next video. Now some red flags with IBS that you need to keep in mind and need to go see your doctor for are if you have unintentional weight loss, have a fever, <coughs> if you find blood in the stool, and if you have abdominal or rectal masses. IBS can be complicated to diagnose, but just remember the symptoms, the causes, and the red flags to IBS so that you and your doctor can treat it properly. So what are your thoughts hmm. on IBS? Do you have a health question hmm. that you would like to be answered in my hmm. next videos? Then make sure to leave a comment in the comments section below. If you have any IBS symptoms, and would like to find out how to treat IBS other than through medications, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the alert bell so you can be alerted when I post my video on IBS treatment and other health videos. Give me a big thumbs up if you have IBS or if you liked this video. Make sure to check out my other videos here for more great content on health. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Docere, Doctor as Teacher.